everybody. Uh, this is Robert Curtis with the Sharp and Go Mini. I just got my little uh, my scooter here, and uh, we're just out there at the lake. You can see in the lake in the water, and we're going to use this uh, trot line, and we're going to we're going to use this Sharp and Go Mini that I have here. You can see that it is, in fact, tied it to this this fishing line or this this cordage here. And uh, if you can see it, and I'm going to throw it out there in the water and use it as a anchor for a trot line. And uh, I just put it; it just pulled it out of the back of my little scooter here. It fits right there in that compartment, just as easy as you please, right in there. So you can uh, take it in and out about around town. Anyway, enough with the uh, talk. Let's go do some trot line fishing here. We'll catch a catfish or, or something. We're just gonna, yeah, we got it out there in the, the lake. And, and uh, I'm gonna get myself, feed myself some line here. I don't wanna find myself following it in there. And uh, drop it in there. I don't know how deep it is, probably about four or five feet here in the edge. But uh, that should be fine. All right, I'll we'll just pick it up and just heave ho it. Quarter with this. You now it's it's near about uh, sundown, so let's we'll see what we can catch. How's that? Well, there it is. There it goes. It's going down. It's going down. It's bubbling. Okay. Now it's down there now. So we're gonna let it soak a little bit and we can pull it back up hopefully that yeah didn't find didn't put any bait or hooks on this thing but I'm just showing you what you could use it for instead of just sharpening you can use it to catch yourself some food I'll pull it back up in here you see it coming what kind of fish did we catch you try this with one of your flat home systems, see what happens. See how durable this thing is? There she is. There she is. I got her, got her right there. Now yeah, that's something else. That's a that's a that's a catch right there. Look at that. I got myself a, a wonder. Okay. Now, I'm gonna pick this thing up. Bring it over here. Set it on a stump or, or anything. You set it anywhere. I gotta get myself a battery. Okay. Get a lithium ion battery. Make sure I turn it off. And uh, plug this bad boy in. So it don't explode because all the water all up inside it. But, uh, ooh. Okay. So that's plow. Well, I think I got soaked good enough. So uh, it falls overboard. Well, that's okay. Let's we'll see what we can do. Just a second, I catch the cell phone here. Yeah, that's nice and wet. Everything's nice and wet. So, man, this guy's nuts. Well, we'll see. Let me check it out. So that spark it's a kind of contact. Now, let's see what happens. We turn it on. Oh my gosh, that thing is working. Are you kidding me? That thing's kicking out big time. So, the question is if you have concerns about the durability of this piece of equipment, I think they've been laid to rest. I don't know if this is upside down or not. There we go. Anyway, I think if you had any questions of durability, you go fishing with this out on the boat and it falls overboard, well, you can retrieve that bad boy and it'll still work. Now, I don't dare. Now, you can still plug it into AC and just get yourself a converter. And, uh, 
You can use it anywhere in the salon. You can wear it, use it out in the woods to sharpen your your, uh, your buck knives or whatever. And uh, out on the fishing boat, if you're if you're worried about the durability of it, getting it a little wet in the salon, guess what? Not a problem. This is Robert Curtis showing you just how durable the Sharp and Go Mini is. Y'all have a great day. Yeah.